Hello everyone, I hope you all had a good Christmas the other day and well, hope you're all having a good day today as well. And in this video, as requested by Will Sheldon, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions on big cats in the UK. There's definitely just like a tiger or something just sat there watching me. 100% definitely, yeah. Mm. Personally, I don't want to say yes or no to the question because, well, I don't know whether they're here and until I know an answer for definite, I'm not going to really pick a side and like, the animal lover inside of me wants to hope that there's some here or something because well, it would be awesome to see them and just, well, know whether they're out in our woods or not but to be honest, I don't think the chances are too high that there's many out here. I think it's possible that there's some, but not too many. And I think that, well, in the UK, they probably, if there is any, they would have been released around the 1970s, which is when the exotic animals license was brought into effect. And before that, you could own anything, ranging from just your average like rabbit or guinea pig all the way up to elephants and lions without having to sign any paperwork or be registered with anything but with the exotic animals license you have to have all the paperwork and everything about the animals you keep and about yourself and you have to be like monitored to make sure you're caring for them correctly and you have the correct um, like enclosure and everything for them and so I'm pretty sure that when that was brought into effect a lot of people will have just abandoned their animals and released them out into the wild. And, well, if you had a big cat, then that's how they probably would have got out into the wilderness here. But, saying that, that was quite a long time ago. And so, unless they are breeding out in the wild, I don't think too many would be left. And, well, there's definitely enough prey items in the UK to sustain a small population of wild big cats with tons of deer going out of control and now we've got boar in places we've got also just livestock from the amount of farms we've got so that does kind of support the theory of big cats here because we've definitely got the food for them to survive but there's not much space for them big cats they need massive amounts of space and like out in Africa the lions will have giant territories but here in the UK we don't exactly have the space for them because we were just so urbanized and got so many just built up areas and in places like India there are uh, leopards that have been found living in the cities but do you really think that's very possible here in the UK because personally I don't think it is and out of all the reported sightings of big cats I think the reports of pumas and lynx and just the smaller species are much more likely because, I don't know, something like a lion or a tiger, we don't have the space or the prey to really support a population of them. But something smaller like a lynx, they could, they could thrive here really, because they're, they're found throughout North America and in places in Europe and Asia. And so they're widespread in places that can be quite similar to the UK in terms of climate and just how built up the areas are. And so, I feel like if there's going to be any big cats out there, it's probably going to be something like a lynx over something much larger, like a lion. <laughs> but saying that, the behaviours of big cats such as leopards or jaguars, well, if you go to a zoo, I'm, I'm sure you've been and seen like a leopard enclosure or a jaguar enclosure, and you've probably had a very, very hard time trying to find them. And that's just in a tiny little enclosed space. Imagine out in a big woods, you're never going to see one. And yeah, there's reports of them out here. And because of their behavior of being so secretive and hidden, I think there is, a, there is also a, a chance that there could be a few out here in the UK because of just that behavior of being so hidden. And like right now, looking around, I feel like I could see everything here. But with the amount of trees there are and blocking my view further on, it, there could be quite easily just a deer over there or a squirrel over there that I can't see, but it can see me. But it's just staying perfectly still and just camouflaging it amongst all the foliage. And because, well, I'm being loud and everything, it knows I'm here, and so it's aware, and will remain hidden from me. And so, with those things, 
I feel like that kind of supports some of the reports for bigger cats here. But still, personally, I think that if there's any here, it's going to be something smaller because we don't really have just the space or food supplies to support something much larger. Because it's been raining so much, the conditions out here, as you can probably hear right now, it's horrible. It's so muddy and so slippy. And as, probably, as you probably just saw in like the previous clip, my back is covered in mud because just as I was about to set up and everything, I was going down a little slope and just with this heavy bag on my back, I just lost all my balance and just slipped straight down. And well, yeah, I'm a bit muddy now, but oh well, it's all part of the outdoor experience, I guess, isn't it? If you enjoyed today's video, why not consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video? And I was thinking of maybe doing another big cat themed video where I'm just gonna sit and like go through a bunch of sightings and stuff and just talk about like whether I think they're real or fake kind of thing. But yeah, if you have any other thoughts or suggestions on other videos I could do, then feel free to leave a comment down below or just contact me in any other way with your suggestions and I'll have a look into it. But, almost fell again then. But for now, it's goodbye and I'll see you in the next episode.